Welcome to today's video. I just want to start off by saying that this video is for people who are just starting or wanting to learn how to play Zoe. For those who are looking for a more advanced guide, I will be posting one in the future, so feel free to subscribe or check me out on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would like to start off with my favorite rune set, which is Dark Harvest. Very fun rune set, especially in the late game. Dark Harvest is really good into squishy team comps and especially in lanes that you hard counter. When taking this rune set, play for the late game, but don't forget to get those stacks. My second rune set that I use is going to be Electrocute. Very good in lanes that the enemy can trade back in. In lanes like Zed, Fizz, and Orianna. Electrocute helps with that early poke damage. And I also find that this rune, I find myself not roaming as often and focusing on putting my laner behind. For those who don't know, Zoe's upgrade order is max Q first, E, then W. And for items, I usually first back and get boots and a dark seal, leading into a Ludens, Shadow Flame, into a Rapidon's Death Cap. One of the most important tips for Zoe is that you have to know positioning. Zoe is very position demanding. One small step too close to an enemy and he will run you down or punish you big time. Zoe is a glass cannon, don't forget that. She is all about skill shots too, so one mistake could cost you big. While playing Zoe, never step too far up while your bubble is on cooldown, and never are away from your opponent. Trust me, at the beginning, it is a bad habit. Trading with Zoe is very easy once you are comfortable with her mechanics. Don't forget to always Q auto Q to proc her passive to do the most damage that you can. Zoe is not all about getting that one shot. She is one of the best champs for short trades if used properly. Zoe is a decent roamer and she is very good at roaming with the jungler. But be warned, you want to have vision down or have knowledge of where the enemy jungler is before roaming. You don't want to be face checking a Warwick in the river bush. Don't forget, while roaming, don't forget to use the jungle walls for your advantage. Using the walls can extend your bubble range for an unprecedented game. And last up, here are a few highlights of a recent game in which I was able to hard carry.
Fuck yeah, dude. So you end it. If this guide helped you guys out at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It would really help out my channel. And to all, you have a good night.